If you play Pet Simulator 99 and you do not use this enchant, you need to start using it because it might be the reason that you are not earning as many diamonds as these people you are seeing on YouTube and other platforms. While I do say this is a good enchant, it is not for everybody and that's why you need to watch till the end of this video because I will explain exactly who should be using this enchant and why it is more useful than you probably thought. Before we get right into it, please comment your Roblox username down below as I will be giving away three more exclusive pets in this video. I just got finished sending out the exclusive pets from the video from yesterday, so congratulations to those winners. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment your Roblox username, and you have a chance at one of these rare exclusive pets. Now, let's get right into it, and I will explain exactly why you might need this Speed 5 enchantment book. So if you haven't figured it out by now, we are talking about this Speed 5 enchantment book. As you can see, comparing this book to the other level 5 enchantment books, uh, the price is actually pretty low. As this is the highest tier speed book that you can get as well, uh, because you cannot combine this into a speed 6 enchant, it just maxes out at speed 5. So this is the highest tier speed enchant, and it is only 7,000 rep compared to all these. The only other one that is cheaper is the tap power book, but there are a lot of these in circulation, so it, that kind of makes sense. And tap power is just not that good, uh, especially for grinding. So as you can see here, speed 5 increases player and pet speed by 100%. Now I know what you're thinking because it's exactly what I thought too. How could this possibly be a better enchant than something like the Criticals book or the Diamonds book or something that gives you some uh, benefit to how much you actually can grind? And the answer to that question is most of the time it's probably not better than all of those enchants. Speed 5 is a very good enchant for a lot of people but if you are doing enough damage and you are breaking all the breakables in the final area fast enough, then speed 5 is just going to be useless for you. And for the most part, that's probably why most people think it is just not a good enchant. But it's really important because a lot of the time we are not the person in the final area that is doing the most damage and ends up breaking the most breakables. And for those people, Speed 5 is actually a very good enchant and actually will rank better and more useful than something like the Criticals enchant, which pretty much everybody uses in their setups right now. The reason that this is, is because in Pet Simulator 99, the way these drops work, if I hit one of these breakables, right, and then another guy comes around and hits it again and it breaks, I still get the drop for that breakable. Now, imagine this is the final area and we have all of our pets going around, breaking things constantly. If you are grinding in the final area with somebody who has much higher power than you do, uh, and they're breaking these breakable super quickly there's a high chance that you are not getting all the drops for all those breakables because your pets aren't even getting a chance to go around and hit the breakables before their pets are breaking them so this is where the speed 5 enchant comes into play with the speed 5 enchant your pets are going to be able to move around the area much much quicker and be able to hit almost all all of the breakables before the other person's pets get a chance to break them which in turn makes you a lot more diamonds as well as drops because you are able to get whatever drops from that breakable because your pet was able to hit it before they broke it so for my current setup i do not have a speed 5 potion on at all because on this account i'm mostly the one who is destroyed the most breakables but for somebody like my alt account that i have here my little noob account i have speed 5 on because i am not going to be breaking a lot of the breakables in the final area instead i just have a lot of pet equip slots which is super important 
refer to my last video if you do not know what I'm talking about, but pet equip slots are super important in Pet Simulator 99. So I have 70 pet equip slots and just a bunch of pets. And with the speed five potion, I'm able to get almost just as many drops as my other account with all the huges on it because my pets are able to go around the final area and hit almost all the breakables at least once before my other account destroys them. For something like an alt account, speed 5 is something you should most definitely have on. Unless, of course, they just have enough damage and are doing most of the damage, but that doesn't even sound right. So, definitely something to consider. Alright, so I couldn't really think of a good scientific way to show you guys that this works, but I'm going to do just a little demonstration here. I'm on my private server. I have my main account here destroying breakables in this final area. Now we have the noob account here. Uh, I do not have a speed 5 enchant right now. Right now I just have a general setup of something you guys might be using. Just look at how fast my pets are moving. You can kind of see them trotting around slowly going to each breakable. And you kind of just want to see how fast I am collecting these coins because I'm not doing most of the damage. My main account here and his pets are doing most of the damage. My pets are just going around hitting, doing some supplemental damage. And if they hit something before it breaks, they are getting the drops for it as well as the diamonds or the coins. Now I'm going to put on the speed enchant. I'm going to just replace one of my damage enchants. As you can see, immediately there is a change in how fast I am collecting these coins. As well as you can see how fast my pets are moving around the area. They are able to go around and hit these breakables much quicker and be able to hit them right before my main account's pets are destroying them. Therefore giving me even more drops. So if you are grinding this last area every night and you have a couple alternate accounts doing the same with you, it is super important that those accounts are being able to hit the breakables before your main account breaks them. Because if they don't, then they're not going to be getting the drops at all. And it's just really going to be slowing down your overall grinding progress. And the fix to this is just a simple 5,000 diamond enchant. Nothing too expensive. Uh, you could also use these toy balls. They only last for 5 minutes and they are 500 each. So to use them all night would be rather expensive. But these do help as well. I would even go as far to say that for something like this build, it might not even be worth it to have criticals on because this account is not making any drops from actually destroying the stuff. It's just making the drops by running around and hitting the stuff. So something else that like would increase, like if I had another Diamonds 5 book, I would put that on there or maybe even the Treasure Hunter 5 just so I could get some more drops because I don't think the Criticals book is actually doing something for something like this account. Uh, but if I did have some more huges on here, I probably would just keep the Criticals just so you could keep doing more damage and you can be breaking this final area just that much quicker. Now, I hope this information helped you. I know it's probably not the enchant you were expecting to be the most underrated enchant but the speed 5 does have its use and it is important for people especially when you're starting out when you're not doing a ton of damage and you are in an area where somebody is doing a lot of damage you definitely want to be getting all the drops from the breakables and it's just not really possible without something like the speed book understanding the mechanics of the game will help you to a lot better understand what is happening with these drops and enable you to get the most out of your time if you enjoyed this content please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video remember to comment your roblox username down below as i will be giving away exclusives on this very video in 24 hours from the upload thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out